Hi, Jim Berthold here from OLI System with today's video, which is about using the MSE SRK thermodynamic framework and database in Aspen HiSys. We have Aspen HiSys version 10 up running, but these instructions will apply to all of the other uh, versions of Aspen HiSys since version 11. So 11, versions 11 and 12 will work the same way. We're just going to go ahead and start a new case. We'll give a second for it to run, and we're going to go ahead and create a fluid package. We've created videos like this in the past, so we'll just give it a second to load up. Okay. Uh, we're going to go right into fluid packages, and we're going to add our fluid package. We're going to add the OLI electrolyte fluid package. Okay. And then we're going to come back to component lists. We're going to go into component list one. And we have the OLI MSC thermodynamic framework. Now, OLI MSC SRK uh, is an extension of this thermodynamic package, but we are not yet caught up to date with version up to version 12 of having switches enabled to have the MSC SRK database enabled. So there is a way to get it to work. And the way to get it to work is to add it as a database. So we're going to click the additional database button here. And it gives us some options. And the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to find the database. If you have Aspen Hysys installed, you will have a program file already installed. And we're bringing up uh, Windows Explorer here uh, called Program Data. Okay, everybody has this. It might be hidden in your uh, directory tree, so you'll have to go to Google to figure out how to unhide this. But you'll need to go into Program Data, look for OLI Systems, and look for Data Banks. Now, you want to find the correct version here. I'm going to actually pick version 10.0.2. And these are all the databases that come with OLI. You won't be able to read most of them, but you will be able to get to a few of them. And the one that we're looking for here is the SRK MSE database. In our product literature, we call it MSE SRK. Uh, but for really old historical reasons, every database that we have, the first three letters must be unique. And we already have an MSE database, so we just had to rename it. A very handy thing to do is to right uh, shift right click this. I'm holding down the shift key and hitting right click. And I'm going to copy as path. So I'm going to copy the path of this, this whole uh, folder, and I'm going to use it in Aspen High School. We'll go ahead and look at it. So the path of the private database will be put here, and we'll just go ahead and, and copy and paste it. You can see that it's the full name. I then need also need to write the name of the database, which is SRKMS. Excuse me, let's get the spelling correct. MS, SRK MSE, and I need to enable it. Okay. You'll see in the background that it'll do some uh, thrashing. Here we have to give it a second for it to update. It did. We'll go back into the component list. Once it's lit, update, you can see it's reading data from the library. Um, we'll use water as a species. Uh, methane. So it's a lit update. It's still reading from the database. OK, there it goes. We have water in there here. We'll take methane, if I can spell methane. There we go. Oops. Methane is spelled methane. There it is. Sorry about the typing. And it will update that. There we go. So every component in the MSC SRK database also exists in MSC. So we're using its list. We're ready to go here. We're actually ready to run the case. Okay. We'll go right into uh, the simulation environment. 
and I am just going to add a stream here. It's simple enough to do that. And you can give it any temperature you want. We can give it some composition. I'm going to work in moles because it's just easier for my brain to think that way. And we'll put in 100 moles of methane. Excuse me, water rather. And then we'll put in one mole of methane. It will run very quickly. So the question people ask is, how do you know it's MSE SRK being used here? And it's hard to figure this out. What you do need to do is go into, once again, File Explorer and look in your temp folder. To find the temp folder very quickly is just type in a path there, percent, temp, percent. And it will bring you into your temp folder. Look for the most recently uh, named files. Aspen HISIS files always begin with an HOL for HISIS OLI. And the file we're looking for is the DBS file. You see it has the date very similar to when I just created it. Currently, it is 1.47 p.m. Uh, on my computer. So this was created just a few seconds ago. If you go ahead and edit this, whatever editor you use, I would use Edit Notepad. And it brings in uh, the default database, MSC Pub. It's there. And it has the SRK uh, MSE database or in our normal parlance MSE SRK and correct versions for ETH it has actually been activated until the uh, interface is updated with a switch this is the way you have to, to use it uh, it is it is cumbersome we do admit that uh, but with version 14 perhaps of uh, Aspen Hysis I think they're going to skip version 12, uh, 13 we will have the proper switches thank you for watching and of course, if you have any questions, please send it to us via our portal. Thank you.